Hello everyone, so this is Applied Economics. Specifically, we are going to talk about industry and environmental analysis, business opportunities identification. So we are going to understand the industry, the environment, the business opportunities identification. We have to know that before venturing into business. Now, first, we are going to know the what industry is and what are those forms of organization and we also have to talk about some uh, analytical framework on how to do analysis by using the SWOT analysis okay so let us start with knowing what industry is so we are going to have some examples here okay we have the 10 biggest industries in the world. We have the financial services, uh, the construction. We also have the real estate, the e-commerce, insurance, information technology. We have the food industry, the oil and gas, the automotive industry, and telecommunication. So by having this, you have now in mind what industry is. So obviously, industry is uh, a group of productive enterprises or organizations that produce or supply goods, uh, services, or sources of income. That is industry. On the other hand, business is an undertaking by a person or a group of persons who are partners, stockholders, who own a juridical entity known as a corporation whose main objective is to earn profit for the owners. So the business is just a small portion of the industry. Okay, so we'll know now the, the forms of organization. So we have here first the sole proprietorship. So by the term itself, sole, it is owned by a single individual okay who is singly responsible for running the business or managing the business and of course he is the only uh, accountable for all the debts the obligations related to the business so we have here an example so this is sole proprietorship it is a business that is owned by a single individual Second, we have the partnership, okay? So it is an agreement in which two or more persons combine their resources in a business with a view to making profit. So partnership is drawn up and profits are divided among partners according to the terms of agreement, okay? So this is partnership. It is owned by two or more persons who combine their resources it can be in a monetary or it can be in um, in their talent no that they put together to form a business and their liabilities are also divided among them okay so we have here also the corporation. It is a legal entity that is separate from its owners, the shareholders. So no shareholder is personally liable for the debts, obligations, or acts of the corporation. Why is this so? Because the corporation is a separate entity so the shareholder is not personally liable no for the debts and obligation or the cor corporation so we have here the examples we have the uh, coca-cola we have here the toyota the ford png we have the universal rubina and all those big businesses we have here also the cooperative. It is an entity organized by people with similar needs to provide themselves with goods and services or to jointly use available resources to improve their income. Okay, so we have here examples. Uh, Philippine Cooperative, we have the Tagum Cooperative, the FICO, and a lot more. So now we have the this analytical framework no on analyzing 
uh, the industry or the business that you are going to venture in the future. Okay, so for a person to put up a business, it is essential no, to to analyze first the industry. Okay, so commonly used is a system known as SWOT analysis, which lists the strength, the weakness, the opportunities, the threats that the business will be facing or is facing okay so this stands for uh, yes the weakness strength opportunities and threats this could help a company meet its challenges and identify new markets so the framework can help identify the business risk and rewards it is also a means of identifying the internal and external forces that may affect the business so we'll talk first the internal factors okay the strength and the weaknesses so uh, this refers to the internal factors ibig sabihin uh, nasa loob no internal factors and there are the resources and experiences readily available to the business proponent so we have here some examples of strength no or kalakasan ng business we have the government incentive um, the low capital incentive the market acceptance and the experienced leaders so it is um, the examples no of the strength of some businesses and on the other hand we have also the weakness okay or the kahinaan no of the business the difficulty of organization the costly setup the possible pollution problems, lack of training of workers. So, ang kagandahan dito, because it is internal factors, so the management can make or can can turn the weakness or can improve this uh, factors to make it a strength in the future. So, example, a lack of training of workers so the management can perform or can conduct a series of trainings so that the employees will become experienced and more uh, trained when it comes to their duties okay so costly setup it can also be managed effectively by the owners or the managers to make it more uh, to, to make it become a strength so ito yung kagandahan ng internal factors kasi it is controllable by the business itself kasi nga internal factors ito okay kaya nilang i-modify to make it more better okay so we go to the opportunities and strength this is external okay when we say external of course it is beyond the control of the management okay so this refers to the external forces these are those that affect the company uh, an organization an individual and those outside their control okay so it is beyond no their control so we have the opportunities here are some examples examples po ito uh, projects may replace imported goods available in the market uh, yes it is an opportunities will improve employees welfare improved company reputation and new technology this is the opportunity of the business okay so we go to the threats the entry of competitors mga hadlang no uh, time consuming production processes opposition from the residents in the community and natural phenomena so as you notice these factors are external and is beyond the control of the business halimbawa dito yung mga entry of new competitors it is you cannot control that okay the natural phenomena okay we cannot control that also okay the 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 opinion or the opposition from the residents hindi natin yan kayang kontrolin din okay so these are 
the threats of the company of some company no and as a business uh when you are planning to venture into a business you are going really to to uh, scan your environment whether or not your business will be feasible or will have will be successful in the future okay so thank you so much for listening and i hope that you get something in here that could be useful no when you are planning not to to build or to to create a business okay so support our channel by like uh comment and subscribing okay thank you so much and god bless us all